Anthony's a veteran and a leader on this team. How do you try to keep guys um, locked in and make sure everybody's kind of focused here moving forward after a tough loss? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough, obviously, but um, you know, like you said, we got a lot of experienced guys on this team. Uh, a lot of football we played still, so uh, I think our best is in front of us. It's got to stay on, stay on the grind, keep working, uh, keep trusting and believing, and uh, go out there on Sunday and try to get a win. You're close with Daniil. Just how tough is it for him personally? How do you feel for him personally when he's going through? Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's awful. You know, um, obviously a big part of what we do. Um, like you said, a good friend. And, you know, I, I know he's going through right now, so um, just got to be there, support him as best we can. And let him know that he's uh, not alone in this recovery, and uh, they, uh, make him feel as supported as possible. What advice? Since you had kind of a similar injury, I guess what advice can you uh, give him potentially on the recovery and working with that? Yeah, uh, be patient, be diligent, um, and just take your time with it. And it's something that requires time, and I think everyone's timeline is a little different, but you know, there's no no need to rush back, get back to 100% before you feel like you can get back and do the things you love to do. So I would just advise him to be as patient as possible. Anthony, for you with that injury, how long did it take you to kind of feel like you could go back to whether it was working out at a, at a more strenuous level or just kind of feeling like yourself again? How long did that take? Um, I, I can't say exactly when. I think in the, sometime in the spring is when I felt you know pretty pretty much like myself. Um, but I mean, he's he's built a little different. You know, he's he's kind of a freak of nature, so I'm sure he'll be back in, in no time. Anthony, with, with the way the last three games have kind of ended on defense with other teams, you know, scoring down the stretch, how does that affect the way you view how you've performed as a whole in the, this last month or so? Um, I think we're playing pretty good. It's just like you said, at the end of games, for whatever reason, we can't, we can't get off the field. So uh, whatever we're doing those first three quarters, we've got to carry that into the last drive, last two minutes of the game, and find a way to close, to close teams out because um, I think we're, we're pretty solid, you know, through the, through the first three and a half quarters of the game. Are there adjustments to be made in that two-minute situation, or, or do you kind of just isolate a play here, a play there? Um, no, I just think it's really about just finishing. You know, it really comes down to that. Um, I don't think there's any you know, secret recipe for it. It's just about being better in those in those critical minute uh, situations. Anthony, you haven't had a chance to go up against Lamar Jackson first time the Vikings have played him. Um, what kind of challenge is that with a quarterback who runs so well? And you talk to maybe players who have played against him, you know, for advice or anything along those lines? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it presents a dual threat, um, which is always a, a challenge. Um, I'm not sure if there's much advice you can get from other teams other than, you know, study with the, the teams that played him well and try to uh, emulate that as much as possible. Um, you know, he's, he's a great player, obviously, MVP in this league, so it'll be a, a, a good challenge for us. How are you doing? How are you feeling just, just playing and coming off that knee injury? Uh, I think each week I'm improving. I'm uh, feeling more confident each week, feeling more like myself. Uh, I think last week was the best I felt, so I just got to try to continue to stay on, on top of that. What's, what's the overall mood in the, in the locker room? Is, is there some disappointment that, that you guys know you could be better at this point, or is it just hope that you can turn it around second half? Uh, I think it's both, yeah. Uh, obviously disappointed with not, you know, Getting the wins that we feel like we should have. Uh, frustrated with you know, kind of the, the way uh, we kind of end games, um, but definitely hopeful that you know we've, we've gone to the wire with every team we played. Um, the good ones, uh, you know, the, the teams that are you know, leading the divisions, the teams that are leading the, the NFC and, and, and the AFC in, in multiple categories. So it's just about uh, you know just con remaining confident. You know, um, I think we're, we're a confident group, and just got to figure out a way to, to close out games to get these wins. Anthony, with the pass rush and losing Daniel just football-wise, how, how do you try to replace the production he gives you there? And does it change your role at all as a guy who can rush the passer at times? Um, I think it's, yeah, it's going to be a group effort. You know, no one guy's going to fill that void, obviously, what he brings to the table. Um, I think we all just got to enhance our games and step up, uh, myself included. So it'll be a, uh, a group effort uh, for sure. How are Daniel's spirits? And you know, obviously, he missed all last year, and then now to have another injury. Um, that's something you'd have to ask him. Um, I can only imagine how it feels. Though um, I'm sure it's it's tough, uh, to say the least. So uh, there's really no way to sugarcoat it. It sucks.
Anthony, uh, in years past, you've described when things weren't going well, how difficult it is in the locker room for guys, you know, showing up to work every day and, and the atmosphere. I guess, how, how do you avoid when you come off a tough loss, having it be a, a tough situation when you're coming in here? Uh, it's going to be tough, you know, because no one wants to lose. No one wants to, you know, feel, feels a lot better to win, obviously. Um, but, you know, there's only so much we can do about that now. If we hang our heads, um, you know, I think the loss will continue to pile. You know, if, if we do that, so it's really, can't, can't really worry about that to kind of move forward. It's the only way um, to overcome, I think, is just to continue to move forward and um, get back to work.